I want to talk a little bit about the Bugatti. Uh, right now, I have two Veyrons, one Koenigsegg, and it's a lot. Uh, we're, we're investing a lot of money in the Houston's Hot Chicken. We have over 60 franchise applications right now, and Edmund and I are going through those. We are developing five additional restaurants in Las Vegas. You guys saw the drive-through that went up. We have uh, four more that are committed, signed, and uh, basically going to start construction. Our downtown one is already under construction. The, uh, uh, we have a new one inside a really popular uh, Las Vegas location, strip location, and uh, we have another one uh, in a convention center area. So those two are gonna start within the next three months. So I figured, you know, at the same time, let's, I wanna work out an idea to where I can kind of uh, get some cash flow coming in. And uh, since my other Bugatti is finished, now those videos will come out soon. I really want to, I want to be very clear. I spent 14 months fixing the scuba Bugatti. It's my call it. License plate's actually scuba on the car. It's kind of funny. But uh, I spent 14 months fixing it. Andy, myself, Beer, Mike, Mario. We worked really, really hard to put that car together. And um, it's, it's just important to make sure that these videos are designed in a way that we have more of a documentary style. This is a big deal, right? And I haven't really decided how um, or what time frame I'm gonna put that out in, but that car's finished and it came out great. I'm, I'm super pumped to have that car. So now I'm kind of thinking like, why don't I sell the red one? We're back again with our special, special partner, My Bookie. And as you can see, we have our purple Urus because we're all purpled out because on Sunday night, Lamar Jackson goes head to head with Patrick Mahomes in a can't miss matchup and My Bookie has all the action. If you're looking for an easy way to bet in this game, prop bets are a super easy way to gain an edge and My Bookie has tons of prop bets. But being down 0-3 against Mahomes, Lamar Jackson's got something to prove. So the over on his total rushing yards is looking like a great bet at MyBookie. Get started by making your first deposit at MyBookie.ag and use the promo code ROYALTY to instantly double your deposit. That's double your money to double your winnings with your first ever deposit using promo code ROYALTY. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with MyBookie. Brady goes for the deep shot. He's got it. Cannon. Now the red one right here, it sits in the showroom. I did some uh, uh, service work on it. It's all up to date. I actually added some new cool headlights. So now they're black. I don't know if you guys can see them. And uh, we upgraded the bumper to have more a uh, newer 2012 and up look, which is Grand Sport or whatever you guys want to say. But the headlights make a big deal difference. I've got like six sets of Veyron wheels, all different styles. So these are the current ones I'm feeling right now. We have uh, the, the full rift exhaust. Right? It's a 2008 Veyron. It's got black and red interior. It's, it's really cool. It's very unique. There, to my knowledge, there's only three solid red Veyrons in America. So back in 2006, 2008, 2010, most Veyrons came with the blade, right? The s uh, single side in the center. I've seen black, I've seen white, I've seen silver. I mean, some weird combinations. So for a solid color Veyron, it's a very unique, it's a very high, uh, value now because that look is a little bit antiquated. I think this look is obviously the uh, the timeless look. Inside the Veyron is uh, always going to be timeless because there's no technology in it, right? You've got just AC controls, radio controls, and that's it. There's no screens. There's nothing that can make this car old. Now, aesthetically, it's an opinion on if you think it's cool or not cool, but when you get inside of some of the cars like a CGT or anything from 2008, 2007, actually like this Gallardo right here, right? So this one has aftermarket, uh, oh, actually it doesn't right now, but it has a cassette player. You know, it, it does has all these weird buttons in it. It doesn't, it's not gonna age very well. I feel like this car will be timeless forever. So it's a good time to put it for sale with the market really high right now, but it's like the CGT market. A CGT is 1 million, 100, 1 million, 300. They're really, really, really going up. And that's because these classic hypercars, it's their time to rise. Veyrons are worth $2 million in my opinion. That's the market for this car. It's a hypercar. It should be more than a Senna. It should be more than a 918. This is the car that started the game and it's only 450 of these in the world. So I'm gonna turn it on so you guys can hear the exhaust because it sounds pretty cool. Epic, right?
right? Stock Veyrons sound really bad. Now I have the stock parts for the car. I've got the uh, stock exhaust, of course. I do not have a set of the stock wheels. Now, stock wheels are a really complicated situation because they're really ugly and they're $40,000 for tires. Even the Chiron uses a Cup 2 Michelin Pilot Super Sport tire, which is found OEM on a GT2 RS, GT3 RS, or a lot of other new cars. Even the uh, Aventador uh, SVJ has Cup 2s on it, uh, well, some packages. But to buy a $40,000 set of tires that have technology that's not even up to par with even the current tire technology, like the Pirellis that are on it. We've got a 355 25 21 in this car, and it is a much better ride, much better handling, a much better traction, much better everything. So I'm a big advocate in throwing the wheels away. I wish Bugatti would make a set of rims that you could upgrade your tires to, to the new Chiron tire, because it's the exact same size as the Veyron. I just don't understand why they haven't come out with that upgrade yet, because nobody wants to, number one, have to ship their tires. If you live in California, you're lucky they go there. But if you live anywhere else in the country, you gotta ship them to Aguero Coach, which is like $8,000 in shipping to ship your wheels. They have to ship them back to you. You pay 40 grand for tires just so you can have a service stamp in your book. It's completely archaic. It doesn't make any sense. It's like one big issue with Bugatti right now. And they're dropping the ball on just making a good new set of wheels. Like just drop sheer on wheels on this car with sheer on tires, you're all set. Because it's a regular tire machine with those wheels. Um, I have a couple sets of wheels for this car, so anybody that doesn't want to buy this car, I can give them an option. We've got the spoke ones, we've got these ones. I actually made a replica of the Devo wheel, which looks pretty sick. Uh, it actually looks really good on this car. I was thinking about putting that, those on here actually this week. But uh, overall, the car's in great shape. It got service from Bugatti in uh, 9,700 miles. So it's going in right now, tomorrow. Beer's gonna bring this to Aguero Coach. It's got 10,950 miles on it right now. So they usually put about 10 miles on it when they service it. So it's going in for its next service. So we did September 2020. Now we're in September 2021. So every year you get a service. They do have a good deal now where you get to do a biannual service. So if you put less than, I think, 2,500 miles on your car in the year, you don't have to pay the $22,000 for service. It's half of that. So basically you do one $20,000 service every two years. So it's split two tens, right? Which is actually pretty cool. It, it allows you to get your Bugatti stamp of authenticity for the, for the engine and the gearbox and the seals and all that stuff. There's a bunch of tiny little things that they love to just replace. They decided with Bugatti to make maintenance like airplanes, where it's a time thing, not necessarily like an actual wear and tear thing. I get the concept, I enjoy it, it looks cool, it does a good job. It's like always, you know, stacks of paper that this car is authorized, right, by Bugatti. But um, that's gonna be up to date. The uh, rest of the car is good. I mean, there's been no issues. I've had this car since it had 7,900 miles and I've enjoyed it the only time this car was ever in any like cool fun thing is when we took it to the snow and did those donuts. Right, but that's it, and uh, the car is uh, in perfect shape. I've never modified it other than the exhaust. You know, this has been uh, my most reliable, most amazing Veyron I've ever owned. But now it's time to get onto the new one, that purple one. It's fully modified. That's a car that I'll probably never be able to sell, <laughs> but maybe one day, like a young, maybe a crypto kid will want to buy that car because it's got a totally different approach to it. It's completely straight piped. It's got uh, rear wheel drive. I mean, it's a monster of a car. I'm actually really excited to put that car on the internet because people are going to love it.